Hello guys and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about this little guy. Cheeky little gadget that Francesca got me as a little gift. And she basically picked it, off, uh, picked it up off Amazon, roughly around a tenner. Um, I'll put a link in the description to a search of bringing all these up. And it's basically a Wi-Fi uh, Bluetooth transmitter. So we're going to talk about this and if it's worth buying one. They are really cheap. Is it good for the money? Um, I've also got the GoPro set up so I can have the camera facing on this uh, and then you can see me talking as well and we'll talk about basically what it does and how to use it. Looking straight at it, the things it comes equipped with, have got two USB ports here and here. One, if we look closely, they should have little symbols on them, yeah. So that one's got a little music sign on there, the other one, a uh, little lightning strike. So that one's mainly for charging. And this one you're looking at for your USB stick with music on. So you can put USB stick in there. This tiny dot here is your microphone, so you can speak hands-free using this. And I'm sure either on the back or on the other side, there is a micro SD slot as well. So there's plenty you can do with it. Um, and I'll show you how it all connects up, how you use it uh, through the GoPro as well. Waiting for pairing. I'll explain why it said that in a second. Right, I've just got the engine running, guys, because one, I, I don't want this to drain the battery basically whilst we're doing this, and two, I am going out after this. So um, just have it running whilst I'm showing you what's going off. Now, how it said, waiting for pairing, what that basically means is it's looking for the Bluetooth connected device that you've got set up with it but first I'll explain how you actually get it to come through the speakers in the first place so if we're looking at this what you have to do first is you have to find a radio station with no radio signal coming through it at all from any other radio station it's basically a radio wave which is unused then you have to, well what I've done is I've assigned that to one of the numbers on my radio I'm not going to show you how to do that because it's different in different cars so you just need to have a random radio wave, not in use, saved to a number. What you then have to do, it will come up flashing Bluetooth. BT obviously stands for Bluetooth, so that's flashing because it's looking for the device. Now normally, the radio will sound like this when you find a radio station that is not in use. What you have to do, hold that button down, these numbers are the other are the radio waves to look through so if we go back onto that selection okay so 87.9 that is the radio station that i am using okay so once it's on the one that you're using i don't know if it selects itself i think it does it automatically ass assigns it to that it then goes completely quiet because it's connected to the wi-fi transmitter so that is now the radio wave that it's using. Next thing we need to do is connect via Bluetooth. Now, it's basically the same way that you would do if you were signing into a Bluetooth speaker or something like that. So you'd find it on your local devices that you find on your phone, um, select that, pair it up to it as you would, and then what will happen is I will show you with this noise. If I turn my Bluetooth on, because it does remember you. Paired. It says paired. It's remembered you, it's now connected to your device as per usual. Now if I play music through my phone, I turn volume all the way up, the music is now playing through the car from my phone, basically. No auxiliary cables, no other ports, no other installation. All I've done is I've put this in the cigarette lighter, paired it up, found a radio station, and you're on your way. You've basically got an MP3 player hooked up to your radio. So in that aspect, it's very much worth the investment, very much worth. I can't believe what it does for the money, I mean it's unreal. And you'll find loads of different ones on Amazon, absolutely loads. Once it starts playing through, you can skip through the tracks using these. So if I click this, that then goes to the next track. As well as going back, forwards, sorry, you can go back as well. 
restart it, you press it a second time, it goes back a track. Now, this knob in the middle, you can use actually for the volume. Like so. But I like to have both on full volume, so then I can change the volume as I would normally with the radio. So if I change radio station, it's at the same volume as what's coming out of my phone. So I literally just adjust the volume with my normal radio compared to adjusting it with this dial or adjusting it with my phone, which is even more dangerous whilst you're driving. The other cool feature about that middle section, uh, the middle button, sorry, is once you've got music playing through, you can click it to pause the music. Click it again, it starts playing the music again. As easy as that. As well with the positioning and everything, I find it so easy to feel where it is. The button sticks completely out, so it's so easy just to click that or click next or click before without taking your eyes off the road. That's one of the main good features about this. Talking about the middle button and how easy it is, if I get a phone call now, even when it's mid-song, it will pause the track, it will tell me the phone number that's ringing and I can answer the phone with that middle button. Talk as much as I want. If the person on the phone then puts the phone down, the track continues playing. Or you could put the phone down with the button again, then the track continues playing. The other really cool feature about it is if you forget something you should have said to that person on the phone previously, you can click that button, double tap, you can double tap the button and it will phone the last person you called back. So you don't have to go on your phone, you don't have to try and find where you phoned again, you don't have to crash into somebody because you're not looking where you're going, literally reach down, double click, phone that person back. Easy as that. Whilst this is playing, you can still have a USB cable coming out of here and charging your phone up. Um, I don't know how it would be compared to if you've got a micro SD card in and if you've got a USB stick in at multiple times as well as your phone Bluetooth. I don't know what it'll take priority to be fair, but I literally just run my phone through it. So that is the basic gist of this. I just paused that track there so you can know what I'm saying. Now when it comes to cons compared to all the good things about it sometimes if you go around certain areas um, in, like if you're moving to different cities or you might get different radio stations that are using that radio wave so then you'll have to reassign that um, what my radio tends to do is try to switch to this legitimate radio station rather than staying with my phone once it recognizes it so that's the only other thing um, when you've not got music playing or when you've got a quiet track playing, especially if you've got the music loud, um, sometimes you can hear a little bit of radio noise, I don't know how it would be, just like little beeps and things in the background or like interference. Just because obviously it is on a radio station, it's not coming through a CD. I wouldn't say the music quality, as you've heard, differs that badly. I really think you cannot tell whether it, if it's through an auxiliary or a CD compared to if you're doing it through this because I can tell when I've got a bad quality song saved I can still tell it's bad quality through this and it's good to a good quality song say like something I've got off a CD put onto my phone it sounds really crisp so the quality is really good the only other drawback as well is if you're if you're connected by Bluetooth but you've not had music playing yet if you press that middle button it doesn't remember to play the music through your phone you'd have to press play first it realizes then the music player on your phone's in use and then pauses and plays it for you so all I tend to do is connect it up with the a Bluetooth straight away play a track pause it and know it's ready to go then so guys, I hope this has been helpful. I hope this is something that you might want to invest in now, especially with it being so cheap. I can't believe how cool it is for the money. Um, I'm really impressed with it. I'm surprised they're not more expensive, to be fair. Um, and they're that cheap. If they did break, 
it's cheap enough to replace one. I hope it's been informative for you. Thank you again so much for joining me, guys. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see some other kind of videos, we haven't done a does it work video in a while since we used the um, Glaco window sealant to repel the rain. So it's nice to do one of these kind of things again. Uh, please like and subscribe and click that little bell button if you do want to see any more videos in future so it can notify you and until next time guys like i always say enjoy the rest of your day bye i've got to stop these winks what was that about that wasn't even a twitch that were an illegitimate wink anyway bye so guys i hope this has been oh, i'll just stop this